Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and I'm now answering question number nine from the Cambridge International A Level Pure Mathematics uh, Paper One. This is the 9709 uh, syllabus, and this is a specimen paper here. We've got this question, which is all to do with radian measure. Um, so here it says the diagram shows a circle with center A and radius R. So that's this small circle over here. Diameters um, CAD and BAE are perpendicular to each other as shown. So this is the center of the circle, obviously, A, because this is the diameter. All right. Um, of course, the tallest is the center. So these two are the diameters of the circle. A larger circle has center B. So B here is the center of this bigger circle. And it passes through the point C and D. So both circles intersect at C and D, as we can see from here. Now, part A says, show that the radius of the larger circle is R root 2. So the radius of the larger circle would be the line BC. Okay, so you can say that the, the radius of the larger circle, so BC, is equal to the radius of the largest larger circle. It's not the same as small r. r is the radius of the smaller circle. So radius of larger circle. Okay, now what we can see from here is... Um, that BC is part of this triangle BAC. So we can say in triangle BAC, we know that AC is equal to R, and we know that AB is also equal to R, because AB is, they're both the radius. They're both the radius of this small circle, the radius of the small circle, not the big one. So these two lengths are the same, so this is also R. So we have this right angle triangle, and we can use Pythagoras' theorem. So we can say that r squared plus r squared is equal to bc, which is what we have to find, uh, or equal to bc squared, sorry. The, the sum of the square of the two shorter sides is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. That means bc squared is equal to 2r squared, so therefore bc is equal to the square root of 2r squared, which is going to be r times the square root of 2. r times the square root of 2. So we can say, therefore... The radius of the bigger circle is equal to r times root 2. There's no units here, so it's just r root 2. Okay, so there's the answer to part A of this question. Pretty simple. But when they say show that, okay, you can't just, for example, um, you, know, just, uh, you know, just write down the answer, okay, and it's always better to write down the answer in terms of, you know, showing your steps clearly. So R squared plus R squared equals BC squared. Uh, at least that should be written down, you know, show how that simplifies and so on. Don't just, for example, write this down and then the answer. Okay, try to show your steps in a clear way. Okay, even though it's only worth one mark, you should always get used to with the show that questions. Try to show your steps clearly because they've given you the answer. So you have to show how you get there. Okay. Um, it's very important. Now, part B, it says, find the area of the shaded region in terms of R. So we've got to find the area of the shaded region. So now we know that, um, well, we know that this length is R root 2. Okay. We know this is 90 degrees. We've got to find the area of the shaded region. Now, this shaded region, if you think about the shaded region, it's like the area of this small semicircle the semicircle of the small circle minus this area here which is the area of the sector of the big circle so if i make another line here that should become a bit clearer this is like the area of the sector okay cd of the bigger circle now this is r root 2 this is also r root 2 now we know this is 90 degrees we know this is r we know these two lines are the same therefore these two angles are both 45 degrees in terms of degrees 45 degrees okay because they have to add up to 90 the total in the whole triangle is is um 180 and therefore this must also be 45 because this is identical this triangle to that one right so this is 45 so that means the angle here in total is 90 degrees okay so this total angle here is 90 degrees okay so we can we can see that so if I find the area of this semicircle and take away the area of this segment, I'm left with the area that's required. 
So we can say the shaded area, which we have to find, is equal to the is equal to the area of the small semicircle. Okay, this the area of the small semicircle minus the area of the segment um, CD, the area of the segment CD in large circle. Okay, so if I find the area of this semicircle, which is not difficult to do, okay, so this is part one, this is part two. So for part one, the area of the semicircle is basically, we know that the, the, the uh, radius is R, so it's going to be pi R squared over two. That's part one. Now for part two, we've got to find the area of this segment. Now this is where we can use some of the formulae that we have um, learnt uh, from the topic of radian measure. Okay, now there's uh, some formula which are actually in the formula book. So if you go to the formula book for Cambridge, you will find, where is it? Over here. Have I missed it? Ah, over here. They only they give you this formula here. They give you the formula for the length of the arc of a circle. Okay, the arc length of a circle, which is r theta. And they also give you the formula for the area of a sector of a circle, which is a half r squared theta. But here it says very clearly that theta must be in radians. You can't use it in degrees. So what we're concerned with here is the area of the sector of a circle, which is a half r squared theta. That's what we're going to use in this question. So we know that the area of, we're finding the area of the segment. Now, the area of the segment here is like the area of the whole sector. The sector is like the pizza slice. The whole, the area of the whole sector, which is BCD. Now remember, this is 90 degrees. Okay, it's the right angle. And this is R times root two, the uh, radius of this large circle, minus the area of this triangle. Okay, this is the, this here, this triangle. Okay, if you take away the area of this triangle from the area of the whole sector, you're left with what we're looking for, which is the area of the segment, which we can then subtract from the, from this, and we're left with our answer. Now, how do you find the area of a sector? Well, that's given to us in the formula book. It's a half r squared theta, but theta must be in radians. And in radians, this angle in radians is... 90 degrees, which is pi over 2 radians. Pi over 2 radians. Must be in radians. Okay, minus the area of this triangle. Now, this triangle has, basically, it's like an isosceles triangle. Okay, we could use a half times base times height for this. That's fine, because it's a right angle. But just for uh, the sake of completeness, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do it, no matter what angle is here. Now, we have a formula, a half times AB sine C. So it'd be half times these two multiplied together. So r, r root 2 times r root 2, which is r root 2 squared, times the sine, half AB, sine of the angle between them. And as we're using radians, it's going to be, um, you know, uh, 90 degrees. So I'll, I'll, in fact, I'm just going to leave it in this form first, just to show you the formula. So this is a half times r squared sine theta. Now, Take care, the R I'm using here is different from the R of the radius. The R I'm using here, I'll, I'll call it big R for, for this purposes. This is the radius of this circle, and this is the radius of that circle. I'll call it big R for now. And we know our radius is actually R root 2. R times root 2. That's actually the radius of our uh, you know, big, big circle. Okay, so we can see that the area that we're looking for is going to be, if you factorize this, is a half times the radius squared times the theta minus the sine of theta. This is the formula that will tell us the area of a segment. The area of the sector minus the area of the triangle leaves you the area of the segment. Now you can memorize this formula, that's fine, or you can derive it just by finding the area of the sector minus the area of the segment, it's the same thing, right? So either way, but the formula is not given to you in the formula book, they give you this formula here for the area of a sector. Now some people will, might ask, and as I said, I'm going through this topic um, and I like to make sure that um, students understand what's going on all right, and where things come from sometimes. So somebody might, might ask why, if you have a circle, 
um, y is the area of the circle given by a half r squared theta, the area of a sector given by a half r squared theta. Okay, um, when we learnt in IGCSE that it's given by a, a formula that looks different. So let's say this in, in IGCSE we learnt that the area of this sector would be the angle over 360 degrees times pi times r squared. That's what we learned. Okay, now, if theta is in radians, now radians is just a different way of measuring an angle, okay? A degree is when you uh, divide the whole revolution to 360 equal parts, and one part is the one degree. Uh, one radian is the angle that you have to pass through such that you have moved the length along the circumference of one radius of that circle. So it's a different way of measuring angles, that's all. So if theta is measured in radians, okay, now what we know is that 2 pi radians is the same as 360 degrees. Okay, 2 pi radians is 360 degrees. So if I'm dealing with radians, then this should be written as 2 pi, not 360 degrees. So in radians, what we can say, if we're dealing with radians, then the area would be theta over 2 pi times pi r squared. So we can see that the pi's cancel out and we're left with theta over 2 times r squared, which is the same as saying a half r squared theta. A half r squared theta. That's how they write the formula. So that's where the formula comes from. Okay, So you don't really have to know that to answer this question, but it's useful for us to know. Um, just for our understanding. So when you're studying the topic at first, your teacher probably went through this, how you end up with this formula. You'll probably find it in the in the books that you use as well, where this formula actually comes from. So that's something that's, uh, you know, useful to know. Okay, so as I said, you don't really need to go through that for this question, but it's useful. So now we can continue because of the area that we want is going to be a half times the radius of our circle, which is r root 2, which we found earlier, and they also told us earlier, even if we couldn't find it, we can use the answer, times theta, which is pi over 2 in radians, 90 degrees is pi over 2, minus the sine of pi over 2. Okay, so this should give us our answer in terms of r. So we have a half times, if you square r, you get r squared. If you square root 2, you get 2. And then you got pi over 2 minus the sine of pi over 2, the sine of 90 is 1. Okay, so the 2 cancels with the 2, so we end up with a equals um, r. So a equals, and this is going to give us pi r squared over 2 minus r squared. So that's the area of the segment. That's the area of 2. Okay, so what we need to find is the shaded area. So we've got to subtract these two areas. So... What we want, the area that's shaded, our final answer, is going to be the area of 1 minus the area of 2, which is pi r squared over 2, pi r squared over 2, minus um, pi r, put in brackets, pi r squared over 2 minus r squared. So... If you calculate this, this would be pi r squared over 2 minus pi r squared over 2 plus r squared. So these two cancel out, and we're left with the area that we needed, which is r squared. And there's the answer for our question part B. Okay, so a bit of explanation of where some of these formulas, formulas that we need come from. Um, and um, there we have the answer to this question which is question number nine from the specimen paper of the International A-Level um, Cambridge Pure Mathematics P1. Uh, this is the specimen paper from 9709 syllabus. Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist, which will appear in this region over here. Uh, the link for the topic of radian measure from P1 of Cambridge will be found in this playlist. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link, and you can watch the video here which will teach you how to find, use my channel to find what you might need. You might be looking for IGCSE or A-level um, at Excel syllabus or other things from this particular syllabus. That video will explain how you use or how you find what you need. Thank you for watching and see you soon.